Today on the channel from the Star Wars Black Series, we've got the Mandalorian and Grogu from Arvala 7, the Target exclusive. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Black Series unboxing and review. And today we've got a deluxe one, the Target exclusive Mandalorian and Grogu. But remember, for all your Black Series needs outside of Target exclusives, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So Mandalorian, Grogu, something I've had on pre-order, which seems like years, but probably more like five months, something like that. But unfortunately, my pre-order has never shown up. I need to go cancel my pre-order as I do got this. As old friend of the channel, David C. Anderson, was uh, strolling through his Target one day and was looking at the figures like one normally would, like any sane person would do. They'd go through the toy aisle first and they'd walk kind of fast there. That's what they would do. Uh, but he came across this and said, hey, I don't think I've seen this before. Do you need this? And I said, boy, I do. I've not seen this either. So this was just sitting on a Target shelf not exactly how sure how that went down. I have not seen one in person, but David came across it and hooked me up and uh, picked this up for me. Appreciate the help, David. So we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Now we got the Mandalorian special packaging. As you longtime viewers of the channel know, I keep my Mandalorian packaging. I'm not sure why, but I'm, I'm putting that mural all together. I just figured I'd pick a line, and that's the one I picked. Maybe it was because uh, when I started and I decided to, the Mandalorian was on TV at the time. I said, you know what, that's the one to go with. Uh, but I do have that. But very big window box. This, once again, is the deluxe figure. You do get Gro Grogu. You do get the egg. You do get the uh, baby carrier. And then you get a dirty Mandalorian. Of course, this is when he was uh, trying to get that egg back uh, from that one. What was it the dragon? I can't remember the name of it. I think the sand people were involved as well. It was like, was that beginning of season two, maybe? It's all kind of running together after uh, so much time. But uh, another repaint, getting the most out of your molds. You know how they do it. We've seen that a lot with the Mandalorian. And Mandalorian Madness still is a thing. Uh, it's kind of laying a little bit more dormant than it has recently. But I think when Mandalorian Season 3 finally comes out, oh, watch out. Mandalorian Madness striking up again. But, of course, we did see the Mandalorian. We did see Grogu in the Book of Boba Fett. So check that out if you missed it. Some people didn't like it. I was here for it all day long. I enjoyed it. There's the front of the package, there's the side. There's that mural I'm talking about. We're building that bad boy out. Let me hang on to the packaging here. Thought I saw, oh yeah, it wasn't the dragon. It was that like rhino type creature. That's right, not the dragon. What am I thinking? But yeah, it's that rhino. It's got him in the background, which is a nice attention to detail by the Hasbro team. Was it a mud horn? Is that what it was called? Gosh, I can't remember, but I think that might've been right. On the back, we got a little bit of blur. We got the warnings down below. We got a little glamour shot off to the side. Let's see what it says about our old pal Mandalorian and Grogu. The Mandalorian is a battle-worn and tight-lipped and formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy who finds a mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of Imperial interests. Well, so there you go. And then, of course, these Star Wars Black Series, I like to open them up from the bottom. And they slide right out the best. I think that is the way to open them. See you later. Off to the side. There it goes. Plastic prison. You got the double plastic prison on this one. There it is. Grogu waving up there saying hi to everybody. He's got the old mud horn. I think it is mud horn egg. Got that. Got the baby bassinet. You know, when Grogu needs to relax and sleep a little bit. Uh, see you later. All Spider-Man. See you later. There it goes. All right. Let's pop these bad boys out. Let's pop all this stuff out. Let's see what's doing here. See what all the fuss is about. As there's fuss, let me tell you, there is fuss about this one. There it is. Hopefully, this shows up in uh, in a little bit higher quantities. As like I said, I haven't seen this in store shelves, store pegs anywhere at my local Target. As I'm throwing things around. Come on, bassinet. Come on out of here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Holy cow, this thing is in here for good. I guess it's just in here to stay. It's not coming out of the plastic. It's only for men on card people. What is going on? Oh my gosh, that fought me too much. See you later. Off to the side. There it is. All right, let's put this thing together first. Stick that on there. What is going on here? We've, we've got problems. We've got problems throughout... I don't know if this is broken off or this is an extra plastic piece on here, but it's making it not fit in. Hmm. Hmm. That is concerning. 
That is very concerning here. Very concerning. I don't think he's going to fit there. It is not going to fit. Are you kidding me? What are we doing? What are we doing? Is there a plastic piece in here? There is not. Ooh, ooh, blood boiling here. Blood boiling. I think there's an extra piece of plastic on mine that needs to like be shaved off so I can put this on here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What are we doing of the day right there? We got the bassinet. Nice clear little flight stand for it. I do like that. You do get the nice little bassinet. No cover on this one, just a loose one here. Uh, no articulation or anything like that, but nice brown, black inside of it. Uh, Grogu can sleep peacefully at night. Uh, very, very nice. little egg for him. But man, execution-wise, I don't know what's going on here. What are we doing? We're spending 30 some dollars for this. We shouldn't have these problems. Hasbro, you're going to be on my naughty list like FedEx. Like FedEx is what's going to happen. Here's the old mud horn egg. A nice uh, attention to detail here. It goes along with the scene. I'm glad they gave us a, a new accessory with this. Definitely looks like an egg. It looks like a furry hair egg. But very cool. It doesn't open up or anything. You can't get any goo out of it or anything fun like that. But we got that egg. Uh, then, of course, we get down to some weapons. Now, we've seen these Mandalorian, uh, the long bow rifle. We've seen this many a times. Uh, nice brown here. Got some darkness against the gunmetal gray. Is what it is. We've seen it, like I said, numerous times. Same thing with his pistol. We got that as well. This is his most iconic weapon to me. I like him with the pistols. Like an old gunslinger. Got that same color of brown, same color gunmetal gray going on. Of course, he can't put this in his holster. Then we get down to Grogu, who is, is he a figure or is he an accessory? To me, he's an accessory. He does have head articulation, but that's where the fun stops. He does have hands that move, but the arms do not go up or down or anything like that. But he is in the position where he's lifting up uh, the mud horn or the rhino thing, whatever it is. Uh, so you can reenact that scene. Well, you really can't because we don't have that creature, but... Uh, you know what I mean, but he's got that showing his force powers right there. Got his eyes closed. He's ready to go. He's ready to party. Might as well compare it to the regular Grogu that we've gotten in the past. So at least it's not the same one. This one's the more, hey, pick me up. He's got articulation to the arms, uh, things like that. You can move him around, but gosh, I'm throwing stuff around left and right here. Uh, but there it is. It looks okay. Uh, but you got choose your own Grogu. Choose your own Grogu adventure, which one you want. But then we get down to the main selling point is the action figure, or at least it should be. And uh, we get the Mandalorian here. Uh, once again, this is no surprises here. The only surprise here is the different uh, colors of the wash. Uh, getting the most out of your molds. We say it all the time, and that's what they're doing right here. A lot of brown, a lot of mud. I like the extra splatter on the visor where you can see that's the best part of this figure, I think. The helmet, totally covered in mud. The cape, you can see a little bit of the dark coming through where the mud didn't get to it. Same thing on the arms. Uh, the shoulders, the feet, all that, just uh, caked in mud. So this is your dirty Mandalorian fighting for those eggs, diving in there. Articulation is the same as all the Star Wars figures have recent. Uh, we do have double-jointed knees on this one. Ankle articulation, good side-to-side -side on there. And then up and down, of course. Double-jointed knees. Thigh swivel, yep, thigh swivel, the hips go out, all that fun stuff. You got turn at the waist. Uh, he does have his bandolier that goes over there. It does move with the figure, so that is all right. doesn't get in the way of articulation. Single jointed elbows, which uh, it is what it is. Uh, and you get wrists that move around, up, down. He's got the uh, gun holder hand there, so he can go up and down with the gun if he needs to. And then, of course, the head moves all around. You can pop the head off, take the cape off if you are so inclined. He's very clean behind his cape, which I guess makes sense. He should have some dirt back here, but it's a little too clean, I think. Uh, but still a good figure, especially for Mandalorian completionists. Uh, but you know them. They're going to get the most out of their molds. And then they took one step further and they put it in the deluxe packaging, which comes with a deluxe price point. Uh, Hasbro Smart, it is a business. They got stockholders. But it comes down, especially in these inflation times, how much are you going to pay? What are you going to support? And Black Series, I've been very frustrated the last six months or so with the Black Series. Very inconsistent distribution. Uh, it seems like just re-release, re-release, getting the most out of your molds. And I understand that, but you could take it too much where the paying paying customer says, hey, what are we doing? And that's where I'm kind of at with Star Wars Black Series right now. We need some more new molds mixed in, but it feels like we're just getting troopers. We're getting Mandalorians. We're just getting the same molds over and over and now asking for more money. It just doesn't sit right. And as you guys know, I sit right here at this table. Of course, we got the regular edition Mandalorian. Uh, the one that started off Mandalorian Madness, we got him right there. So you can look at those guys together. Same thing, just different paint jobs. That's all you got right there. So an interesting one. I don't like the extra $10 price point or whatever it is, $8. You know what I mean. The extra price point doesn't feel warranted here. 
You get a Grogu that is basically an accessory, doesn't have really articulation like the other one. That's a miss. Uh, this hot garbage, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with this. This is very disappointing to me. So that is even more disappointing. The Mudhorn Egg, very nice, a new accessory. Other accessories we've seen before. So this is truly getting the most out of your molds. It's a moment in time repaint. If you're only getting one Mandalorian figure, it's not going to be this one. I could say a lot of people could pass on this if you're so inclined. And then you throw on the Target exclusive on here. Not the easiest to get. Like I said, I haven't even seen one in person yet. And I'm in stores all day, all week, it seems like. Uh, a lot of weeks. And I have not come across one. So... All that, I don't know if I can totally recommend this one, but it is cool for what it is. And Mandalorian Completionist, Star Wars Completionist, you got to be all over this one. There's no way around it. But you guys in the comments, tell me your thoughts. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Does this excite you at all? Are you down on Star Wars a little bit like I am right now? they got to do something to re-energize the fan base, I feel, in at least the action figure fan base. The Rancor thing was a punch to the gut. Uh, bad timing. If they would have announced that Rancor... After the Book of Boba Fett, there's no doubt that thing would have funded. Uh, so just a lot of interesting times over at Hasbro on the Star Wars team. Hopefully they find their way. And the Mandalorian once told me this is the way. So this is the way to finish off this review. So give me your comments. Don't forget to like this video. Give it the old thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow along on Patreon for this video and tons of other videos. Weeks, sometimes months early on the Patreon. And best of all, you support the channel. Tons of extras on there as well. You can follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for The Mandalorian and Grogu too, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.